Anime Champion Simulator, the game that once produced hundreds of thousands of players per update, now struggling to get 10,000 players on average. But you may be asking yourself, why is the number so low? Why is the game not pulling the players that it used to pull? Well, today in this video, we're going to be going over every single reason why ACS has been dying lately. I'm Croden, and let's get straight into the video. All right, so first of all, as you guys may know, Anime Champion Simulator has not been the best with communication. You know, as you can see on screen here, currently there has been a three week delay since they have ever sent an announcement message at all. So basically, they went three weeks without actually giving us any information about the new updates or stuff like that given that they were on like a holiday but still sending one message to update us on the current situation was not that difficult i know that they don't want to leak any parts of the update but they could have told us that there would have been a delay or something like that you know the game hasn't been that good at communication in its whole life there has been situations like when they restarted pity because if you guys didn't know when soft pity was introduced you could basically build up pity on any capsule and then you Use it for another capsule of your choice to pull the god that you want but what they decided to do was change it and they didn't even give any of the players a warning so everybody basically lost all the pity that they were building up you know and that really enraged the community they haven't really been that good with communication the entire life of the game so there is that all right so coming up with number two we got the lack of updates when the game first originally came out it was said it was going to be a passion project where updates are going to be weekly but you know that has started to change because they have been delaying updates usually by a week or two but now coming back into it we are getting delays of upwards of three weeks which is actually pretty insane they gave us a forum people voted and apparently they voted for bi-weekly but they didn't really state that very well which comes into my next point that the content of the game has been pretty dry you know recently they introduced dungeons and that was supposed to keep players entertained for weeks but apparently it was beaten in under a day and that nobody really wants to do anymore besides that all the updates the players have complained about saying the content was mediocre not worth the two week to three week wait that we usually have and they said themselves they have a pretty decent sized dev team so i'm not really sure what with that darab did post out a message though where he said that they were working on something cool and they're gonna give us a pretty good update but we'll have to see on that and one of the most annoying parts of the games has been the bugs you guys already know what i'm talking about there's like every single kind of bug in this game i'm not gonna go specifically into those but maybe Maybe down along in the video we'll talk about some of the most crucial bugs that have been killing this game slowly but first of all i want to talk about the do incident most of you guys know what i'm talking about so basically if you guys didn't know during one of the updates there was a pity bug i believe where players could go to the black hole summon orb which was the rarest orb in the game you know it had do which was like a 400 dollars unit they'd have to spend in order to obtain it on average but what happened is apparently the testers didn't test it well enough or something or it was the dev's fault i never really figured out but they published the game with the pity still there so people were opening these deal capsules of 10 and keep in mind the planet was supposed to be a one in a thousand and people were opening like six of these every 10 opens which was clearly insane that, that was not supposed to happen here on screen you can see a picture of this guy named ben he actually got a picture of him opening like four or five of them at one time and he actually opened that orb and he ended up getting himself a godly deal so you you know they did try to ratify the situation by doing a rollback but all you had to do to not be affected was not join the game for 30 minutes and you'd still have everything you know a few godly deals and hundreds of deals i assume were actually created from this and as far as i know most of the original deal owners including myself were pretty frustrated with this the devs did say that they could have done some feature where they could have given everyone before that a special item to make up for it but as the time of recording and a couple months later that has not been given to us next up we have the tournament incident as you guys know tournaments were introduced a couple months ago and there was a lot of bad things that happened to go along with that to start off with number one they introduced the only cosmic item in the game along with tournaments guys and it was locked behind a paywall so if you just bought a bunch of these you'd basically be able to dominate the tournaments and since that was the first cosmic item ever if you didn't have them you basically were not going to get on the leaderboard and to this day you 
you still cannot earn enough cosmic wild card items for your units i believe there's under five that you could actually obtain for free and considering that you guys can actually equip up to eight units right now there's no way that you will have enough free cosmic wild card items with that opening stuff such as limited time or which most players don't have time to do and when we talk about these tournaments we can't not talk about god servers if you guys didn't know what you guys should have known about basically what happened is that for the longest time in the game it was mainly brought up when tournaments were brought around a player found a new method called god servers and basically what it was was servers that gave you an extremely high damage multiplier most of the time and all you had to do was server hop and find i believe it was older servers but they gave you really high damage multipliers and you guys can imagine this is obviously extremely unfair without a god server you were almost guaranteed to not make tournament leaderboards or any leaderboards at all people were abusing it for dps leaderboards devour leaderboards basically any leaderboard you could think of all the players on there were god servers there was at one point a god server that was like a 3.7x multiplier server that stayed up for days because it had a player q count of like 100 and if you didn't know the only way moderators can actually shut down the servers if they go in and kick everybody out but obviously there was like a hundred player queue so they never actually were able to get in for a couple of days but the damage was already done the tournament for that week was already messed up and in the first week of tournaments actually i believe there was one day left but when they decided to update the game and they also increased the level cap with it and you guys can imagine how much that enraged the players who spent all six days trying to get on the leaderboard because you have to spend time damage potions you basically had to put everything in if you wanted a shot at getting on the tournaments and then a week before the tournament ended they decided hey let's update the level cap man a lot of the people who were on the tournament leaderboard were saying just reset the servers and shut down the actual tournament for the week and they could have done that but they said they didn't want to shut down so servers but then an hour later they ended up shutting down every single server for a different reason and they didn't end up taking down tournaments with it which was really confusing to me but anyways next up we had the problem that they promised events and other stuff that weren't actually done the prime example has got to be the acs content creator contest you guys may or may not have heard about it from me i did a couple videos about it but basically what this was it was a contest where you could upload a youtube short or a tiktok you know where you did something fun there was like four categories i believe and the winners from each of these categories would receive an exclusive cosmic skin i personally made about four videos and i actually had the most popular youtube short at the time and this contest was supposed to end more than two months ago but till this day we still have not received these skins i asked otm which was the community manager at the time multiple times about it and he said he would make an announcement about it um you know but that was months ago and he still has not done that which leads me to believe that the devs have actually forgotten about this and i mean this isn't really surprising because people have been asking for different features for a long time but the devs still haven't implemented them one feature in particular has got to be multi deconstruct you know how annoying it is to click 700 times to deconstruct 700 different units when you could just add a feature to use multi they said they're gonna add this a month ago but they still haven't done that and they don't really listen to the community that much you know people have been offering insight on how they can improve the game but they don't really like to listen to us these are just some examples i'm sure there's more out there but that's all i got about that part next up we got the godly bugs some of you guys now are talking about some of you guys don't but basically what happened was during a time there was a bug where you guys could actually basically get like infinite godlies it was actually pretty difficult to pull off but all you had to do basically was when you were opening a capsule all you had to do was leave the game while you were opening it and it would give you the unit and it would also give you your capsule back if you actually perform this correctly all the top players players basically did this and they were able to get themselves full teams of godly cosmics and at the time basically nobody had them so if you guys didn't do this bug then you wouldn't be able to get to the top essentially you know this created a lot of outreach for the player base i believe neil's actually made a video about it but then ended up taking it down I, and i talked about this earlier you guys know the cosmic wings for that charity event i'm not sure if they work for charity but all that i know is that they costed a thousand robux each and they were the first cosmic item that were ever introduced like that and they were locked behind a paywall and they were introduced at a very bad time which further opened the gap between pay to win and free to play players which you know is another reason why a bunch of free to play players were obviously very mad and probably caused a couple people to quit next up we gotta talk about the astolfo scan man 
I made a video about this around Halloween time, I believe, but there was, it wasn't really a bug, but it was a hidden feature that many people didn't realize it, but basically shorter ultimate time skins like Astolfo, the mythical skin that you could obtain from the Halloween capsule, were extremely OP and almost doubled your damage. This is how majority of the players were able to clear tower 200 and get themselves their 8th equip slot. I don't know if this was meant to be an intended feature, but they did end up balancing it later, but the damage was already done. Players were using this to get on top of all the leaderboards and they were obviously doing it to clear tournaments later and combined with god servers if you didn't have a god server or a stolfo skins there was literally no way that you could beat these leaderboard players so that was a pretty big issue in the game also including tournaments during the first week of tournaments there was a rule for like solos and duos i believe where you could only equip seven units which would only give you harmony three however i made a video about this as well there was a kind of glitch where you could make a separate team and then you could just click the keybind to swap teams and you'd be able to equip eight units which obviously was unfair i might have taken on the video for that i'm not really sure but that was pretty big it messed up the tournaments big time you know and if you're using god servers as well it just furthered the issue and last up we have the holiday potion glitch where basically if you used one of the brand new holiday potions which gave you a 2.5x multiplier this is specifically for luck where after it wore off your base luck was actually nerfed I was going to make a video about it, but it got patched in about a day, so I didn't really see a point. But what made this worse is that the developers didn't even make an announcement about it when they were fully aware it was happening, which basically scammed a bunch of people out of the potions after that because they were having reduced luck. So if you think about it during that time, people probably spent hundreds of dollars buying these new potions and they never ended up getting the full use out of them, which was pretty scummy in my opinion. But yeah, those are all of the main incidents inside of anime champion simulator that has contributed to the death of the game maybe the developers can bring it back i don't really know but that's all i had to say for this video thank you all so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one